Hey, Carl here with Columbia Water Gardens, and today I'm going to show you a really fast video on how to clean a wetland filter. So in this video, I'm going to show you the tools that we use to clean it, how you know when it's time to actually clean your wetland filter, and just a couple of quick tips in the process. So here we go. First off, um, I, it's obvious that this wetland filter is ready to be cleaned, and I'll show you why. If you get down really close here, you'll see that there's a layer of, um, of just decomposing organic matter that is getting very thick on top of the rock. So you can kind of brush that away. You can see that it's probably about maybe that thick of decomposing organic matter. When you start to see this happening, also evidence of channeling. So if you see right over here, see all these little holes? It looks like they're kind of like maybe creatures are crawling out of the... So that's also channeling. And what that's showing you is that the water is coming up throughout those areas. And so that's when it's time to clean it. The benefit of this is, is going to be that your pond is going to shine so much better. You're removing the nutrients out of the pond itself so that the pond performs better. Here's the tools. I like to use a gas-powered trash pump. This has been in service with us for a couple of years, and she just keeps on going. I believe I got this from Tractor Supply Hardware for about $400, and we've got fire hose, and the fire hose runs all the way down to the length of this particular property to where we can water other plants, and we just have a little fire nozzle attached to the other end. It does a really great job of, um, of spreading that out. We don't want to waste this nutritional content water. This water has such an incredible amount of nutritional content. We don't want to waste that. And so we want to try to keep it on the property as much as we possibly can so that the plants are fed and fertilized that are outside the pond. So the gas-powered trash pump, this has a capacity of about 15,000 gallons per hour. We're going to set the snorkel uh, of, the, of, the, of, of, the uh, of the pump down into the snorkel of the wetland filter and we're going to prime the top of this until this cavity here fills up with water we'll fire it up and we're going to go ahead and start sucking so here's the process process is really really simple and if you think that putting a wetland filter together is going to be a huge maintenance issue it's really not once you know what to do the process is very fast we pump this out we pump it completely dry once we pump this completely dry, we move to the next wetland, which is underneath these cannons over here. And we're going to pump that one completely dry. Then we're going to take the pump and we're going to relocate it down to the pond. And we're going to pump from the pond using the spray nozzle, using pond water, to blast all of this stuff here back out and to send it back down into the bottom of the snorkel. At which point, we'll pump it back out and send it over the wall again. We're going to repeat this process two, maybe three times, and this thing's going to be crystal clear. So again, here's a really good look of it looking like what it looks like before we do the clean out. Check it out after. All right, so here we go. The pump is on. And all that nutrient rich water is coming right out the fire hustle. And all these plants are getting an incredible, incredible bath of not just water, but water from the pond behind me. That's the effectiveness of a wetland filter. And a wetland filter makes your pond crystal clear. Like this. It's six feet deep. Super healthy habitat for your fish. And this filter has not been cleaned in two years. Okay, the sweatland is uh, done being drained out, and now we're draining out the other one on the other side. And as you can see, there's just an awful lot of organic matter that's sitting here on top. And what we don't want to do is we want to we don't want to completely destroy this because this, believe it or not, is a living, breathing ecosystem that is the I don't want to say the life support system, but it's actually the heart. It's a digestive system of that huge pond. There's all sorts of life that's in here. Like for example, look right here, there's a, there's a dragonfly nymph that's just growing around. You see him crawling around. And dragonflies are territorial. These dragonflies will 
make this area their home and eat mosquitoes and just do a phenomenal job. They can eat up to 2,000 mosquitoes a day, just one single dragonfly. So that little guy there, he is a welcome addition to the pond. On the other side over here, you can see that on the other side of these cannas that uh, we're pumping out that second wetland and along this back wall, and it's hard to determine from this video how long this wall is, but it's at least a thousand feet from where I'm standing to the other side. All this gets watered from this phenomenally nutrient rich water that came out of this wetland as well as wetland number two and the third wetland way on the other side of the property over here where the bedrooms are. So this is a magnificent way to, um, to fertilize your plants, to stay green and to uh, establish deeper, more um, efficient root systems on our plants. I love how this works for the out for the for the environment. I love how this works for the um, the micro ecosystem that we've developed here. And we're almost to the point now where we're going to start rinsing these wetlands out. And wait till you see how clean they get. So the wetlands are now clean and look at the difference look at the difference here you can just see you can it almost looks like there's no water in here at all but you can kind of see it shimmering across the surface but you can see now that now we have removed all of that excess nutrient and the excess nutrient does a couple of things one is it feeds an algae bloom inside the pond two is that it just it's it's unsightly um and so the stream beds are now up and running cannas are going to be like hey what happened to all my food but that's okay it'll come back and this is just a part of the process this right here was just completely covered over with sludge earlier and they did a phenomenal job getting this all cleaned up waterfall is now flowing and the fish are just having a great time so all that's left now is you just got to harvest a bunch of plants out of this side over here for a big project that we're working on right now in Corona. Because tomorrow we're building a, um, an 8 foot by 11 foot ecosystem pond for Excelsior uh, Charter School in Corona, California. They're located off of Fullerton Avenue and this water feature is going to be right in the front of the main entrance right as you first come in. And so um, it's going to be a great fun project. We've already got the liner down, the underlayment, and the skimmer of the biofall is connected. And about 60% of the rocks are already preset. So tomorrow all we're going to do is just go in and have fun, get done by about 11 or 12 o'clock, eat a bunch of tacos, do a bunch of community PR, and have a great day. But about this project here, I hope that you learned something, and I hope that you got a couple of really great tips. Just as a wrap up, when you start to see a lot of decomposing organic matter on the top of your um, the wetland filter, that's when it's time to clean. Use a strong pump. The reason why we again like the trash pumps is because that trash pump, it um, it just it really blows the muck. It really blows and separates things really fast. It does an efficient job. Third, try to keep as much of that water on site as you possibly can, so that as you're keeping that water on site, you're watering the plants. You're encouraging the roots to uh, go deeper and stronger, which reduces their overall demand on, uh, on your irrigation and it helps in a time of drought. And last but not least, take your time and enjoy it. A part of water gardening is having fun and enjoying the water feature that you have beyond the fish, to the plants, to taking care of it, and learning a thing or two about science and nature. I'm Carl with Columbia Water Gardens. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you're new to my channel and you just come across it for the very first time, please do us a favor and subscribe. 
And if you have any questions about this comment here about the techniques and the construction of this particular project or some of the things that we use to get this job done, put your comments on down below. I answer about pretty really dog close to 100% of every comment that's asked on my YouTube channel. And in the meantime, I'm here to remind you that doing a clean out the proper way really, really matters. Happy ponding.